So ladies and gentlemen, we'll now get back underway with our main card this evening. Fight number eight will be for the Coastal Combat Amateur Welterweight title and is brought to you by SMP Studio. Introducing first, out of the red corner, the challenger, Victor Lyle. On to the main card, lads. It's got a lot to live up to after watching that undercard <laughs> far out. Doesn't it ever, Anton? And I tell you what, Victor Lyle might win an award for the strangest walkout music that I've come across. One of my uh, duties uh, as part of the Coastal Combat promotion is to collate the walkout music from the fighters, which, by the way, isn't easy. But when, when I got this song, I, uh, I had to double check that this was what Victor wanted. But I tell you what, this is what he wanted. And I tell you what, the man, say what you will about his song choice, but the man can fight. Six and three as an amateur training under the teams at Game Bread and Ignite. And I don't think it's possible for Victor Lyle to be in a boring fight, boys. Yeah, that's right, Mosley. He's had, had a lot of fights, a lot of experience. Um, coming up against Declan Wolfenden, who's uh, two fights? Three fights. Three fights. Yep, so the champ, 3 0 at present. Uh, Victor, the decided experience advantage, 6 and 3. Coming off an arm triangle victory in the first round over Dylan Murphy in uh, October of last year. And uh, prior to that, dropped the decision to Bruno Playfair in uh, 2000 and in August of 2019. But like we said, six and three at present. And this man is about as muscular as you can get for the 77 kilo weight class. Do you know what I'd like to point out? Is, you know, there's a lot of... Uh Induendo about MMA fighters, but this man is not only an absolute beast, but he's actually super intelligent. With the Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, History and Literature, sorry, not Humanities, he's got a Bachelor of Psych, Science, and a Bachelor of Business. I mean, what can't this dude do? Man, that's impressive. Uh, well, speaking of what he can do, when I was doing my pre-fight social media stalk yep. as part of my uh, as part of my fight preparation, I saw a video of him deadlifting a moped. <laughs> so. <laughs> There's not much you can't do, and there's not much you can't lift. Is there any part of him that's not muscle? And introducing his opponent, out of the blue corner, the champion, Declan, the Wolf, Wolfenden. Well, I'm gonna have to step up here, because I have a lot to do with Declan. Well, I will let you take the wheel here, Anton. And and he, he was originally from Townsville, and he has moved down to uh, Sunny Coast, where he trains under Rob Graffita, which I think is probably one of the most underrated coaches in Australia. So the Wolf currently 3-0 and in his career, and I tell you what, he's not short on support in the building, a very popular character here on the Sunshine Coast, and his fans have flocked here once again. His title winning victory came over Hayden Buckman, main event of Coastal Combat 8. He got things done in the first round with a Von Flew choke, of all things. Yeah. Look, yeah, I, th I think um, as more fights progress, he gets more confident. You know, and as obviously, as we know, the more confident you get, the more, more time you get in the cage. Uh, it, can only, it can only improve your, your, your game plan, your ability to fight, your ability to keep calm under pressure. And I think this one's going to be a big challenge for him, you know. Like I said, his opponent's had three times the amount of experience that he has in the cage. Um, so it'll be a good challenge for him mentally and uh, obviously skillfully. But as we can see, the height advantage is definitely going to go to Declan. Um, so he's going to have a bit more reach. But... Uh, Victor uses his stature very well. He's very aggressive, yeah. lots of head movements, some weird angles. You know, he's going to obviously try and close the distance uh, extremely quickly. That's right. That's, that's definitely against, against the taller opponents. Once you can get, get inside their, their reach, it does, it does become very easy to shoot in for the clinch and the takedowns. So, so ladies and gentlemen, fight number eight this evening is brought to you by SMP Studio. It will be for the amateur Coastal Combat Welterweight title contested over five three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 77.5 kilos and trains out of Game Bread Academy and Ignite Martial Arts, holding an amateur record of six wins for three defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Victor Lyle! 
and his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 76.6 kilos and trains out of integrated MMA on the Sunshine Coast, holding an undefeated amateur record of three victories for zero defeats. He is the reigning, defending, Coastal Combat Welterweight Champion, Declan the Wolf, Wolf in Den. All right, you're both aware of the rules. Listen to my commands at all times. Obey my commands at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Otherwise, go back and get ready to fight. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Nakia Melody. Victor Lyle, fighting style, technical brawling. Oh, he's a southpaw too. Well, boys, it is title time. A welterweight strap on the line here in the amateur ranks. The undefeated champion, Declan the Wolf Wolfenden, hasn't really hit a speed bump inside the cage yet. We'll see if Victor Lyle can offer him more than that as he looks to try and go home with that coastal combat title around his waist. Oh, lovely high kick. And gents, we spoke previously about Victor Lyle just loving to get in these rock 'em, drag 'em out wars. So, you know, it's not a Victor Lyle fight unless there's blood. So he's certainly not worried about getting clipped with uh, shots early here tonight. Declan's going to have to do a very good job of maintaining that distance and not letting uh, Victor come in uh, without at least getting tagged or, or trying to disrupt that rhythm. He's oh, big. Big left hand whiffs there from Victor Lyle. Oh, oh wow. I'm not even sure where that landed. It looked like to the body. It was almost a wheel kick to the body, which is a uh, fairly unique technique. Especially if you got him in the liver. You yeah. definitely know about it. He's doing uh, a good job of keeping that head pressure uh, on his chin, but Victor's doing a great job of keeping that overhook and creating that downward pressure, making it harder for uh, Declan to get the takedown. I'd like to see... Uh, Victor frame, frame in front of the face. Now, Anton, you've spent a fair bit of time in the training room with uh, the Wolf, and uh, you noted that on the walkout. Look, I'm just curious, what do you think the game plan would be coming in here tonight? Whoa! I, th I think, uh, like I said, I, I think people underrate his, uh, his overall skill. You know, I think people think that he's a striker, but he's actually... You know, he's, he's, got, he's got quite decent wrestling, he's, and he's, he's quite confident and comfortable on the ground. Well, certainly round one dovetailing with that thought, Anton. Nice takedown from Declan Wolfington. Back to the feet, though, for Victor Lyle. Yeah, you know, Victor, Victor's got some strong base. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's a very low center of gravity, which yes. is making it hard for Declan to get underneath. And, and that's, that's going to weigh in on, the, on your gas tank. That's, you know, wrestling is always, always going to take it out of you. But there was one knee landed there from Victor Lyle. It looked like it uh, made Declan... And Leach think twice about his uh, his time in a clinch there as they separate. Oh, almost into a knee there. So but, uh, 30 seconds remaining in this first round, Anton. As we as we've said before, you know, there's a lot of muscle that Victor is carrying. You know, it'd be interesting to see if uh, you know he can keep keep that pace up in that, that third, fourth, fifth round. Um, nice high kick from Victor. Because as we know, you know, muscle obviously takes more oxygen. You know, the more muscle you got. Yeah, look, that's a, that's a good point, Anton, and at the risk of stating the obvious, most people think it. Uh, and uh, it's certainly going to be interesting to see if this fight goes deep. Also worth noting, we haven't seen Declan Wolfenden deep in rounds yet inside his career. Last two fights with first round finishes on his behalf. So if he is extended here tonight, it'll be interesting to see how his gas tank holds up in those championship rounds. And as we've spoken about his composure, you know, as, we, as, as you pointed out, you know, a lot of his fights, yeah, both of his fights are finished in the first round. We don't know how he's going to keep composed in those later rounds, especially those championships rounds, right? Mm -hmm. That's something that uh, unless you've been in there and you, you've, uh, you've gone those championship rounds, you don't actually know how you're going to be mentally as well as physically, um, you know, capable. And composure is a key word there, Anton, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, our co-commentator here, Bradford Cowie. Brad, if I can jump to you for a second. Your cardio won you a lot of fights, but it seemed more that it was your composure and your ability to, I guess, minimize the amount of energy expended yeah. inside the cage. Yeah, that's, that's right. I mean, 
you know, a little bit older. I, I only have a limited gas tank, and so I, I just know that I had to stay calm yep. and just use my energy where it needed to be used. Well, it worked wonders for your champ. Six and one in your amateur career, a few titles at home on the mantelpiece. Back to the action at hand, though, in the welterweight division. Low Ooh. kick lands, jab counter. Oh, nice little left hook. That got Declan's attention. Ooh. Oh, nice. Big shot there from Victor Lyle. I just can't get over the size of Victor's legs. Oh, just, yeah, the just, just the size of his oh, chest, his back, he is just his arms, his shoulders, he is his neck. An absolute animal. Look at him. He's literally like the miniature Hulk, just not green. Ooh, oh, lovely shot. Good hips there. Oh, Ooh, that careful. Means. That might have been a bit. Yes. Yeah. Just got to watch those knees. That was questionable at best there from the challenger, but no objection from the Kia Melody. Depp and Wolfen didn't seem to shake it off okay, so even if there was an illegal knee there, looks like we are good to continue, gents. Yeah, see, as, as we can see, Declan's head's actually under Victor, yep. which yeah. isn't a great place for a takedown. What we'd like to see is Declan get his head back onto the other side and create some pressure on that head. Lovely oh, beautiful. takedown, oh. but beautiful it. takedown. Now, if you can hold him down there, gas him out, do some damage, it'd be great. Now, I must admit, Anton, coming in here tonight, I was sceptical about whether Declan Wolfenden will be able to get takedowns like this, but so far, so good for the Wolf. I mean, it's not easy to take down Victor Lyle. He's done it now on several occasions. If you get that second foot in, well, he's going for a body. He's going for the body. So trying to lock up the body triangle here. Victor Lyle, oh, sorry, Declan Wolfenden, I should say. Victor Lyle in his spot of trouble. Yep. He's going to try and scrape him off his back, use the cage to get him off his back. There we go, do some damage. That's it. There we go, look at that. Feeds him. Lovely leg lace there to actually stop him from turning in, and it actually breaks down their posture. Makes it harder for them to carry him. Oh, Lovely strong strikes. Shots. And he's actually got the, uh, the, the arm lace on the other side, which is going to make it very hard for him to turn around. Well, so far, so good for the Wolf. Oh, and nice, beautiful nice reverse. Uh, reversal from Victor. Oh, nice good knee. knee. So Victor Lyle with some nice work there. Fingers in the... So uh, warning there from referee Nikia Melody for the fingers inside the cage from Victor Lyle. Oh, big knee up top. Oh, he's definitely, that, that landed. It's definitely already opened up a nice colouring under his right eye. Yeah, good point, Anton. We're, we're seeing that mouse grow by the second under Declan Wolfenden's right eye, so that knee landing the goods for Victor Lyle. Mm. Well, I, I think uh, Victor's arms, he's shaking them out, might start to become a bit heavy. Yeah. Um, but I, um, it was very, very good composure from Victor. Yep. Interesting so, round there, gents, as far as scoring is concerned. Yeah, it, it was great work from both guys in that round, I thought. Again, comes back to the age-old question, damage or control? Mm. Uh, I think we saw the better control work done by Declan Wolfenden, but perhaps particularly with that knee towards the end, uh, the more damage in, in, uh, inflicted, I should say, sorry, by Victor. Do we, and again, do we go from one, like one shot, which was a lovely knee that caused damage, or do we look at Declan and go, he hit him multiple times while working, but didn't have the same damage level as the one mm. knee? So Nakia Melody now clearing out the cage. I'll ask for your scorecards, gentlemen, but I know that you're keeping them close to your chest tonight. So third round, of course, we are scheduled for five if needed. Some heavy breathing from Victor Lyle at present. Curious as to uh, how his cardio will hold up for the five if we go that far. Switch back to the southpaw stance for this round. Who seems to be alternating each round. Oh, big shots by Victor Lyle. Declan Wolfenden gets out of there. Victor did give his prediction for this fight as a head kick KO. So... I'll be impressed if he gets his leg up that high. I'd like to see Declan use his jab, try and, try and keep Victor away. He's got those long arms. There we go. 
Oh, beautiful timing on that shot. Hands locked. Will we see a finish on this takedown? Oh, the strength of Victor Lyle. I thought that was curtains on that takedown attempt there from Declan the Wolf Wolfenden. But straight to his back, he switches very well. Uh, he's gone, he's grounded. So back to the feet, at least momentarily here for Victor Lyle. Let's see what Declan Wolfenden opts to do here. Oh, he's, 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 he switched him quite well. Oh. oh, he's joined both hands on together. That's the str strength of Victor Lyle there again. Oh. But look, if the game plan was to make him work, then Declan Wolfingdon accomplishing that here in round three. As you see, he's got that front leg, but if he wants to get that nice, that nice uh, ankle, ankle pick, he's got, to, he's got to switch hands to lower to the other leg. The other leg is what bases it, especially in this position. It'd be even nice to see him step back, strike a little bit, mm. and then uh, shoot back under. Yeah, that's what, that's what I like to see from back in. So reversal here, Vic, Victor Lyle now in control. He's really got to make sure his head stays up. Victor's doing a very good job of keeping his head in a good position to throw that knee when he sets it up. Yeah, like, it looks like he's looking for it now, actually, yeah. Anton. He needs to pop up or he's going to be eating that knee very soon. Victor's got a leg trip here if he wants. So Victor Lyle opting to disengage here now. Declan Wolfenden, oh! Two shots landed there from Victor. Declan eats them without issue though. To be honest, I think Victor is actually quite fatigued. Even though he's throwing his hands, I don't actually think there's much heat behind mm. it. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, you know what they say, cardio is king. And as we head into the championship rounds for both these gentlemen's young careers, we will see who put in the hard yards in the gym, who put those hours in on the, on the bike when no one else wanted to. A war of attrition here in our welterweight title fight. Close fight so far though, gents. Yeah, very, very close. I, um, I think both fighters are doing an excellent job uh, with little bits of, you know, bits of uh, specialty from both of them uh, during each round. You know, Victor's landing some, landing some heavier strikes. But I think Declan's working harder during it. Um, like I said, these are the rounds we're going to see. So round four. Championships rounds, here we are. Well, boys, they'll touch him up in the middle. Nakia Melody claps us in. Here we go. Championship rounds in the first title fight here on Coastal Combat 9. Thank you for all joining us on the live stream. My name's Daniel Maudsley. I'm joined by Anton Zafir, UFC veteran, and the former Coastal Combat lightweight champion, Brad the Viper Cowie. Ooh. As we see the spinning attack there from Victor Lyle, partially land. Well, there's that head kick for you, Anton. Oh, lovely there stiff jab. As flexible as he is muscular. Oh, lovely push kick as well. Yeah, great Just timing. Just as Victor, yeah, went to throw through him off balance. Look for the question mark kick there. Pulled it at the last second there, the Wolf. So his corners, corners yelling out for Declan to push the pace. They can start to see Victor slowing down, getting fatigued. You know, you don't want him to get that breath back to throw those one, two hard shots that can, can do the damage. The breathing out of the mouth is certainly there from Victor Lyle, but I tell you what, his pace hasn't slowed as much as uh, I may think. have thought, yeah. He's still chasing Declan and throwing heavy shots. Ooh, the amount of pop, I guess, left on those shots is something that we can't answer. What I'd like to see is Declan actually throw a head kick because uh, he's looking for those for the push kicks and his hands are down. He's, I wouldn't, li wouldn't, mi like, wouldn't mind to see him fake the low and go high. There we go. So nice exchange there from both gentlemen. Right hand lands from Victor Lyle on the exit, followed by the left hook. Lovely push kicks, but getting him in the body. 
Yeah, we uh, spoke earlier in the night, gentlemen, about how those body shots can really drain your gas tank. Yeah, I, I like what Declan's doing there. He's just keeping, keeping him on the end of his punches, on the end of his kicks, you know, just not letting him get walked down. You know, give him something to think about when he comes in. Ooh, far out if you just switched it. Declan's doing a good job. Well, gents, this round, I mean, the activity ticks certainly going to Victor Lyle, though. Yeah. While we question perhaps his, uh, what's left in the tank heading into this championship round, he's certainly been the busier body here, uh, fighter here, sorry, in round four. If he, is, if he is fatigued, he's not showing it by his, his output. That's exactly right, Brad. Could not agree more. Oh. I definitely think there should be. Wouldn't even mind seeing Declan drop some knees. Really impressed with our Victor's striking. Well, good ground for the challenger there, I think, boys. Mm. Big round, all right? No. But my scorecard uh, doesn't matter here tonight. It's only the three judges sitting cage side, and to be fair, I'm not actually sure where this one's sitting. No. Super close. Super close fight. I, c I couldn't even give you an educated guess as to how the judges have seen the first four rounds in this one, about to head into the fifth and final round. And, uh, you know, we spoke earlier in the fight, you know, cardio is king, particularly in these amateur ranks. Cardio can often, you know, be the difference for a lot of these fights. And uh, as both men are now heading into the first fifth round that they've seen in their young careers, well, we will see who's going to push the pace harder. This last round could well and truly decide this fight, gents. Yeah. And the boys touch him up. Here we go. Victor Lyle looking to try and steal the belt oh, of Declan Wolfenden. Beautiful shot from Declan. Sprawled by Victor. But reshooting there is Declan Wolfenden. Good start to the fifth round for the champ. So one hook in here, boys. But Brad, you spoke earlier about using the cage to peel someone off your back. Looks like Victor's employing that here again. I'd like to see Declan actually just sit up against the cage, kick his uh, bottom leg out, which will actually turn him around and allow him to put both hooks in. There we go, get that second hook in. Hook that, put that foot in. So right in front of his corner there, Sunshine, the uh, Sunshine Coast team at Integrated MMA. Oh, oh, he's got, Ooh, is he slinging is he that hand through? Hand? Difficult for us to see from this angle. I'm not quite sure how much danger Victor Lyle's in. Irrespective as such, great opening, uh, great start, I should say, to the fifth round here from the champion. Definitely in a weird angle here, but... So the corner of Victor Lyle calling for him to scrape Declan off his back with the fence. Footstops. Stop. Look like uh, some heavy footstops there too. That's a heavy leg. Yeah. <laughs> Well, some valuable control time, if nothing else here, for the champion, Declan the Wolf Wolfenden. Right in front of his corner, too. And his team headed up there by Rob, the head coach at Integrated MMA on the Sunshine Coast. Keep going, Declan. Declan's doing a great job just picking his shots. 
doing enough that the ref's not breaking him down. Yeah, not even a warning yet from uh, from our referee, Nakia Melody. So he's happy with the activity level as we approach the final 10 seconds of this fight. There's the clap. 10 seconds. And look, I think a clear round here for the champion. But yeah. uh, look, I tell you what, the first four pretty tight. I think I've got an idea. Four probably to Lyle, five to the Wolf. One through three, though, I'm not confident. Yeah. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. Well, gentlemen, we will find out in just a few moments' time. Will we see and still, or will it be and new? Yeah, great, great work from both fighters. Went the distance, five rounds. Both should be super proud. Absolutely. Impressed. I'm impressed with both, both the boys' cardio. Big lads. Big, lots of muscles move around. So, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the bout 48 to 47. 48-47 and 49-46 for your winner by unanimous decision and the new Coastal Combat Welterweight Champion, Victor Lyle. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with our and new welterweight champion, Victor Lyle, a fantastic back and forth five rounds in the books with Declan the Wolf, Wolfenden. Were you confident you had done enough when we went to the scorecards? Yeah, I was definitely confident I did enough. Oh, I wasn't trying to stall at the end, sorry everyone, but he wasn't really doing anything and I, I wasn't either. I couldn't get out to risk the sub, but yeah, I feel like it was just a stall at the end, but sorry about that. I don't think you've got anything to apologise for. You've given us some fantastic fights over the years and you can now add this championship belt to your resume. About as experienced as they come, you are in the amateur ranks. How many more fights can we see before you turn professional? Uh, just until it gets easier and easier, really. I don't really care that much. I just want to have fun. Take it as it comes. So, yeah, I don't give a shit about any of that stuff, to be honest. Well, look, before I let you go, I know you've got a very, very impressive team behind you with the boys from Gamebred and Ignite Martial Arts. I'm sure you've got a couple of people you'd like to thank. Yeah, uh, oh, so many. Special uh, thanks, first of all, to Brian Dunstan, Simon Clough, Andrew Keogh, Jace Lonergan, Zayden Roberto. Wow. Five coaches all teach me so much. I've learned so much more of you guys. Uh, everyone that came out to see me. Uh, so, yeah, sorry. Thanks for coming so much. I've learned something from all of my friends. Um, if you come up and ask me, I guarantee I'll be able to tell you something I admire about you and you've taught me. So I'm just a conduit, conduit to all you guys in here. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're proud of me. Thanks for helping me out. Well, I, can, I think I can speak for all of them. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your new champion, Victor Lyle. <laughs>